Well, one day of celebration just isn't enough for someone like Rosalind Carter. A day after her 96th birthday, her hometown and many others honored her once again at an event created last year. WALB News 10's Fallon Howard shows us how Mistress Carter's legacy continues to grow. Today marked the second Butterfly Days, an opportunity for people everywhere to come to Plains and show their appreciation for former First Lady Rosalind Carter. And I think these events are just a way to um, express in the community not only not only a way to honor all the things that she has espoused and embodies, uh, her strength, her courage, her love, her kindness, her tenderness. I spoke with many people today and they tell me that they describe Rosalind as a wonderful, gentle spirit, just like the butterflies released today. Savannah Doble is an artist at Furlough Charter School who painted an original artwork of former First Lady Rosalind Carter. It's a visual presentation of a song called Butterfly Fly, a song dedicated to Mrs. Carter at her birthday last year. I was really grateful for the opportunity and I wanted to incorporate butterflies obviously because she has the butterfly trail and I just wanted to show who she is. Peter Hazel came to Plains from Reno, Nevada just for the day. He created a piece of art called Dancing Monarchs. What an honor for me to make these glass butterflies for Rosalind. Just, I just imagine her running around collecting butterflies here you know, in her, in her yard, and then all these years later, here I am. David Osborne is known as pianist to the presidents. He had dozens of White House performances for five U.S. presidents, but he says his friendship with the Carters keeps him coming back to Plains. When I never felt deserving of this honor. Uh, God just put it together for me, and I am overwhelmed with the beautiful things that's happened in my life as, as a result of my close friendship with Jimmy and Rosalind Carter, it's just indescribable what they've done for me. The Butterfly Days will soon become an outdoor classroom for generations to learn about the history of Rosalind Carter and the nature of monarch butterflies. Fallon Howard, WALB News 10, your hometown news source.